Hi everyone, Jess here, and today I'm joined with Tamal Gudazi Poor, CCO of Swiss International Airlines. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure to be back, Jess. It's great to have you back. So now that the ball's rolling with NDC, what do you think the biggest obstacle will be to its widespread adoption? I think NDC is one part of the story, and uh, I think we have now elevated it to reforming the whole modern airline region. And uh, this includes also the orders and the offers. And uh, I think uh, NDC has been the starting point. We are still on the way with NDC. We have not yet penetrated the corporate world sufficiently, but we have penetrated very much the leisure world. So that's a good step forward. The next thing that we need to ta tackle is actually orders and offers. And that's something which for the next years will occupy, preoccupy the whole industry. We have to reform the backbone of this industry. We have to reform a technology from the 1960s. That's the big challenge for us to go forward. Absolutely. And do you have um, an idea of timeline on this? How do, you, how do you foresee this playing out, this transition? Well, the timeline foresees to be there with offers and orders by 2030. But I think there will be multiple speeds. There's a collision of the willing of airlines moving forward now. And I think some of those airlines will be quicker. Others will follow. And of course, we have to take the whole industry along. So this is a multi-year uh, endeavor and it will take several steps. It will come in a modular approach, step by step. The old world will be still there and will be step by step then replaced with the new world. Uh, it's a big challenge, but I'm confident that this time we should get it right. Fantastic. And when it comes to reaching this 2030 goal with offers and orders, what role does the IATA consortium play? Yeah. The modern air retailing program with the different pillars is actually driven very much also by IATA. Uh, within IATA, we also have formed a consortium of 12 airlines, which work closely in a very agile fashion together. And I'm quite happy about the progress to define business cases, methodologies, transition path for IT, transition path for the industry. And we will see how much we also go into delivery. We will not build the entity itself. That's still the responsibility of each and every airline. And, uh, but the IATA plays here a very important role. I'm happy we have moved again on this topic together as an industry, not only the airlines, it's not a club of airlines, it's actually for the sake of the whole industry. Fantastic. And we've spoken about this journey, but what benefits are we already seeing from modern airline retailing and how will this lead to traction for its successful implementation? I think we have learned the hard way in the pandemic that we have to be better with the customer. And of course, everybody says there is a customer focus. What does it really mean? It means that in irregularity cases, in disruptive cases, you are there for the customer, that you can actually help him, that he can help himself. So we have seen already quite a number of new products on the digital side where self-servicing, rebooking, refunds, all that now is possible in the apps, in the chatbots. The chatbot is a big topic that's, that's coming up as well. So there are lots of new products coming. Also on the sustainability front, we have introduced green fares and I think recognition of consciousness for sustainability with the customer is an important element where we see also cool features coming, cool new products coming out in due time. Fantastic. And another of the really key topics at the moment is generative AI. How are we seeing this open up possibilities for airline retail? Yeah. There's a hype cycle always when there's a new technology like we've seen with blockchain. And with blockchain, we have not seen that many applications for travel retailing. I'm pretty confident that with the LLM, the large language model, which is the next step of generative AI, we have now ample opportunities also to get new products into modern era retailing, to get actually also backbone improvements, sentiment analysis, support for the analysts. Um, on the customer side, it is about the chatbots, of course, it's about conversation, it's about personas, AI personas, that you use for either front office or back office functionalities that will hopefully reform and help the, the way forward in modern era retailing. Fantastic. Well, thank you for sharing your insights and thank you for sitting with me today. It's a pleasure, Jess, as usual. Sure.